On your screens is a rare opportunity to witness one of the most thrilling and technically demanding disciplines in the world of extreme technologies, wingsuit flight. What unfolds before you is a documentary chronicle of a three-week training and skill enhancement program undertaken by pilot Eric Kuo, set in the natural landscapes of Italy and Switzerland. A wingsuit is a specialized flight suit that enables a person to perform controlled flight from sheer cliffs or buildings, using aerodynamic surfaces stretched between the arms and legs. It transforms vertical freefall into a horizontal glide, reaching speeds of up to 200 km per hour and beyond. This type of flight demands exceptional precision, preparation, and an understanding of aerodynamics. Even the slightest mistake can be fatal. The main subject of the video, pilot Eric Kuo, showcases the step-by-step -step progression of his skills in one of the most dangerous forms of aerial sport, wingsuit base. The footage features flights at some of the most renowned wingsuit base locations in Europe, the Alps, canyons, forested gorges, and rocky plateaus. These sites are considered iconic in the wingsuit world, not only for their beauty but also for the difficulty of their routes. Sweden can also boast its own flying vehicle of the future, the single-seat electric aircraft Jetson 1, developed by the company Jetson Aero. Jetson 1 is built with an aluminum frame and a carbon Kevlar composite, giving it a weight of only 86 kilograms without the pilot. It is equipped with eight electric motors with propellers that operate independently from each other. This provides the aircraft with stability and allows it to continue flying even if one of the motors fails. The flight time is up to 20 minutes, and the maximum speed is software limited to 102 km per hour to enhance safety. The aircraft is capable of ascending to an altitude of up to 1,500 meters, although most demonstration flights are performed at low altitude. Battery charging takes about one hour, and the aircraft can be stored in a standard garage. Its design allows for partial disassembly. The next generation flying vehicle called Blackfly has been introduced by the American company Pivotal. Blackfly is a single-seat aerial vehicle made from carbon fiber and equipped with eight electric propellers mounted on two parallel wings. Its maximum speed is limited to 100 km per hour, and it can fly up to 64 km on a full charge. Blackfly is fully electric, charges from a standard power outlet, and can be ready for the next flight within 30 to 40 minutes. It can take off and land from nearly any open stretch of land about 40 meters in length. The vehicle is controlled using a joystick, and the pilot has access to automatic modes for takeoff, hovering and landing. Built-in stabilization systems keep the aircraft steady even in windy conditions or if some motors fail. In the event of a serious malfunction, a ballistic parachute is deployed. Before you is the longest wingsuit flight line over terrain in human history. A team of world-renowned pilots from the Soul Flyers, Fred Fugan, Vincent Cott, and Aurelien Chattard, flew seven and a half kilometers over the Mont Blanc Massif, one of the most breathtaking and simultaneously most challenging landscapes in Europe, setting a new world record in the process. This jump was performed under ideal conditions from a helicopter hovering just above the summit of Mont Blanc. At the start, the pilots were already at an altitude of approximately 4,800 meters. From there, maintaining a precise formation, they launched down a route carved by glaciers and sheer cliffs, reaching extremely high speeds. The entire flight lasted only 3 minutes and 5 seconds. This is one of the most dangerous and spectacular formats of wingsuit flying, where pilots soar just meters away from rocks, ice ledges, snow cornices, and even mountaineers along the route. Any deviation from the trajectory in such conditions can be fatal. There is no room for error, only absolute control, refined aerodynamics, and an elite level of preparation. Before you is another historic event in the world of extreme technology and next-generation aviation. For the first time in history, two individuals, skydivers Marco First and Marco Valtenspiel, flew through the iconic Tower Bridge in London in wingsuits, executing an unprecedented maneuver in the heart of a major metropolis. This flight was the result of precise coordination, engineering calculation, and absolute trust in their skills and equipment. The jump was performed from a helicopter hovering high above the River Thames. After separating from the aircraft, the athletes immediately entered a steep dive, accelerating to 246 kilometers per hour, a speed comparable to a Formula One race car. 
At that velocity, they headed directly toward the gap between the towers of Tower Bridge, where the passage allowed only a few meters of clearance from metal structures and supporting columns. This was not simply a flight over terrain, it was a high-altitude maneuver through urban infrastructure, where every degree of trajectory and every millimeter of body position held critical importance. A mistake of just one-tenth of a second could have led to catastrophe. Nevertheless, both pilots entered the central span with precision, executing a highly complex aerodynamic move known as a flare, a sharp deceleration and transition from a dive into a climb, which allowed them to gain lift and safely deploy their parachutes immediately after passing through the bridge. Recently, the company Leo Flight unveiled its new electric flying vehicle called Leo Solo. The debut took place in January 2025 at the CES exhibition in Las Vegas, where the aircraft was presented in virtual reality. The vehicle is equipped with 24 electric jet engines, providing vertical takeoff and landing, along with a high level of reliability thanks to a multiple redundancy system. Its maximum speed is 101 km per hour, and its flight range is up to 32 km on a single charge. Leo Solo features a semi-autonomous fly-by-wire control system and can be charged using standard automotive charging stations. The company is also developing a two-seat model called Leo Coupe, which will be capable of reaching speeds of up to 322 km per hour and covering distances of up to 402 km on a single charge. Production of the Leo Coupe is expected to begin in the year 2027. Some time ago, engineers at the company Terrafugia set out to realize humanity's dream of a flying car by unveiling a unique mode of transportation, the Terrafugia Transition. The Transition is a two-seat hybrid between an automobile and a light sport aircraft. On the ground, it can reach a speed of up to 105 km per hour, while in the air it can fly at speeds of up to 185 km per hour. Its cruising speed is approximately 172 km per hour, with a fuel consumption of 19 liters per hour, enabling a flight range of up to 787 kilometers. One of the key features of the transition is its foldable wings, which allow it to transform from a car into an aircraft in just a matter of seconds. The transformation is controlled from the cockpit using an electromechanical system. When folded, the vehicle's width is 2 meters, allowing it to be stored in a standard garage. Operating the transition requires both a driver's license and a sport pilot certificate. Before You is the Bloodhound SSC, a rocket-powered car created with the goal of breaking the world land speed record and for the first time in history, surpassing the threshold of 1,609 km per hour. Unveiled to the public during its initial test runs at Cornwall Newquay Airport, this engineering monster reached a speed of 338 km per hour, just the beginning of its path towards supersonic triumph. Bloodhound SSC is not just a car. It is a fusion of a jet fighter, a Formula One race car, and a spacecraft. Its mass is 7.5 tons. It is equipped with a jet engine from a Eurofighter Typhoon and a rocket propulsion system, with a combined output of 135,000 horsepower, more than the total of all Formula One cars participating in a season. At top speed, Bloodhound will cover one mile in 3.6 seconds, the equivalent of 4.5 football fields every second. For comparison, the car covers 300 meters in the time it takes a human eye to blink. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a like. See you next time.